Good morning everyone. Today we're taking apart the ASUS X540L. This one is the XL, sorry, the X540LA-XX013T. Now this actually probably applies to most of the X540L range. So uh, now if we flip it over, just show you so you can see it's the same model that the one that you're using at home. Um, now I've already removed all the base screws um, just so I could uh, make this video a little bit quicker for you. So you've got all your screws along here. Um, if you haven't taken a laptop apart before, it's a good idea to keep them sort of note down what size screws go where um, because they are different sizes. The ones on the back um, along here tend to be larger and these ones are, are smaller. So now the biggest trick to getting this laptop open, well one is to try and not scratch the bezel. Um, since it's a new laptop, you know, we want it to be nice and in good condition. So I found the easiest way, if I can adjust the camera a little bit for you. Now the easiest way to get this apart, after you've removed the screws, push the, the hood right back and under this back right lid here, you can actually pry it back a tiny bit enough to get a credit card, say this is my Toys R Us VIP member card. Uh, enough to get it under here, slide it along. Now try not to pull up without uh, unclipping the clips first with a card because you know, you'll break the clips and yeah, that's obviously no good. Now I found in this particular one, the tightest spot was just in this spot under the DVD-ROM here. Um, but if you get it enough force, you can get it just to open up just enough uh, and you can slide the, the credit card under there and then obviously follow the unit around, unclipping it as you go, which I'll just do now. You can hear those clips coming loose. And up she comes. Okay, so, just zoom out a little bit for you. So from here, whenever you're taking a laptop apart, you don't pull it off 100 miles an hour. You want to have a look underneath first. I can already feel there's the, the um, keyboard connector cable. Uh, you might be able to see it, but just under, just under here, you can see that loose cable. So if you just reach under, and it will actually clip up. Now I can't emphasize enough be very, very careful with the keyboard, with the ribbon cable, ribbon cable connectors for the um, keyboard and the trackpad. So let's just readjust. You can see you've got your connectors down here. These, if you break these, you're in a world of trouble. You probably, I mean, you can try and sort of tape them in place or something, but just be very, very careful because more than likely this is you're probably going to end up having to replace the motherboard and your manufacturer won't honor a warranty, you know, on if this is actually damaged. These little clips are really fragile. Um, I had a guy in the last video that I did actually broke his and I've seen it before. So yeah, just be very, very careful. Now, um, the reason we're taking this laptop apart, obviously here we've got a HGST hard disk, 5400 RPM, slow as dog's balls. So uh, we've got one screw holding this in place. And out she comes. So the advantage of this is um, when you've got a relatively cheap laptop, yeah, it's, it's a good laptop, you can change out one part and then you've got a great laptop. So today we're gonna put a Samsung Evo 850 SSD in here, solid state disc. And this is gonna give it a huge performance jump because the core engine of this, the Core i3, it's not the quickest out there, 1.7 I think gigahertz, but it's more than enough to, you know, for general use. This is actually going to be for a student, so it's a good student computer. Um, the advantage of a lower clock speed is you've also got better battery life, so um, you know, this one's going to go to uni every day, taking notes and things like that, so it's probably a really good spec. Uh, so this is just going to really hopefully polish it off nicely for the, for the end user. So um, this is obviously a very simple laptop to take apart. You've got your DVD-RW drive here. Um, so if you've got a faulty one, you can change that out. 
you've also got your wireless uh, your Wi-Fi controller so if your Wi-Fi range was having issues you can change that out and get a new Intel like a wireless AC uh, adapter you know you can actually upgrade this people don't really think of that that much and um, yeah that's um, quite a solid system now if you were wanting to do a memory upgrade now give me one second now your memory is going to be underneath this board and I dare say it may be discrete which means it's built on the board but there's probably an expansion slot so um, let's give me one second I'll just put this hard drive back together I think we can go in a, another level deeper since we've got it apart anyway you know so These we'll put aside for now. Okay, so going in deeper, um, yeah, you're gonna have to basically take apart this whole assembly. Now, here you've got cooling fan. These will just clip out. Sometimes they're a little tight, so a small screwdriver will help. There we are. That one is tight. So this looks like it's um, to the power connector. I'll go back to this. Once again, a good idea to write down where all these screws come from. Um, now, I might actually just bring you in a little closer. So, just taking one out of there. Now, you might, not, might have noticed, or might not, there's actually tiny little arrows. Uh, every time you've got to remove a screw to get down to the next level, um, there's actually tiny little arrows on most of the points, um, just to sort of roughly guide you. Now, it's holding this in place. I'm just going to remove the DVD drive, give us a little bit more space in here. Oops, just took the um, clip off. Interesting point, these clips are actually um, interchangeable, so you could remove this ROM drive, put a DVD RW in place if you wanted to. And we won't worry about that now. So you might want to put uh, Blu-ray or something like that, actually a minute. Um, not to worry about that at the minute, just trying to get down to this motherboard.
And as you can see, you've got internal battery here as well. And um, yeah, Asus really don't want you um, changing things and upgrading things anymore. <laughs> Seems to be the, the case, that's, that's fine. See the um, this is actually held down by tape on the motherboard, so we actually need to. It just unclips. We need to get in there first. So it would be feeling better if we could get rid of this battery. The Wi Fi controller might be holding this in place. Aha, yeah, that's a little secret there is, um, yeah, little Wi Fi controller was holding everything down. So now I'm just so very conscious of the fact we're still directly connected to that power. Normally I'd say remove the battery before doing anything, but this one kind of didn't give us a lot of choice in the matter. Okay, so now we've got that disconnected. We're just gonna carefully, uh, with a PCB, always good just to touch the edges. Don't actually touch the circuit board. And there you can see you've got your memory, which is actually removable. Four gig DDR3 1200S. Yeah, so you could actually just change out your memory. Um, we'll need to check the manufacturer's specifications on what the max is, but I'm putting money on this is probably an 8 gig. Yeah, change over to an 8 gig and just follow the steps to put it all back together again. Cool. Um, yeah, any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below. And yes, please subscribe. Awesome. Thanks. Bye.